مساء الخير ومنكفي برنامج الجسر بفقرة جديدة وبتأمل أن نكون عبرنا من جسر التوتر السياسي إلى جسر أكثر أو إلى جهة أكثر مرونة ومرح معنا بالفقرة المتبقية ضيفين عزيزين الضيف الأول هو صدام علي وصدام هو من بروكلين نيويورك وهو ملاكم محترف من أصل يمني وطبعا صدام علي هو مش بس اللي بيميزه انه يمني امريكي واول يمني امريكي بيتاهل ليكون بفريق الاولمبي الامريكي وكان هالشيء عام 2008 باولمبياد الصين، صدام خليني اعرفكم عليه عنده اربع خيات واخ واحد وابتدا بالملاكمه من عمر ثمان سنوات، هو اول مثل ما ذكرت اول امريكي يمني من شارك بالالعاب الاولمبيه وهو ملاكم بالوزن الخفيف وبيقول انه مثله الاعلى باللعبه هو الملاكم البريطاني اليمني المشهور نسيم حميد. صدام علي حائز على بطوله القفاز الذهبي مرتين على مستوى ولايه نيويورك ومرتين ايضا على المستوى الولايات المتحده كلها، وهو طبعا هو ايضا الملاكم الثاني فقط اللي بيربح هالبطوله بفئتين الوزن الخفيف والوزن الريشه او الفذر وهالشيء على سنتين متواليتين. Good evening, Saddam. Good evening. Uh, it's a very big pleasure for us to have you on the show, being uh, the first uh, Arab uh, American to uh, represent uh, the United States in the Olympics. Uh, how does it uh, uh, feel to you? Thank you. It's a pleasure being here. Uh, and, it, and it feels great being the first Arab American to ever represent the United States in any sport. Um, for me, I wanted to prove something. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter what race you are, who you are, I wanted to prove that as an Arab American, I could make it to the Olympics. And I'd done it. Uh, that's, that's very impressive. I mentioned at the beginning that you started boxing at the age of eight. Um, while other kids, you know, they like to learn piano, soccer, mm -hmm. uh, why boxing? Well, um, I thank my dad for it. Uh, mm -hmm. he, he's strict. And I had a lot of sisters and a lot of cousins that mm -hmm. lived uh, on the next floor. So I was around a lot of females. Mm. So my dad seen that, hey, this guy's playing pity pat, you know, too many girly stuff. Okay. You know, I got to take him to a man's sport. So okay. my dad took me to karate at the age of five. Uh -huh. So then from karate, I went to boxing. And from there, I just I just got better and better and kept going. Boxing you know, was really this is such a nice story, especially for, for me. I have one boy and three girls, and he's yeah. also surrounded by girls. So maybe I should put him in, in boxing. Yeah. What's your advice to all the young uh, uh, you know, people, Arab Americans or others, who like to uh, take the boxing as a sport? Well, um, I think stay focused, uh, train hard. Uh, listen to your parents is the most important thing, because your parents only want what's good for you, mm -hmm. what's going to be better for you. And um, I'm glad I listened to mine because it's, it's made me successful. Um, so basically, just stick to your dreams and uh, don't let nobody talk, talk you down. Make sure that you do it. Um, you, I mentioned also that uh, your uh, uh, role model or, or the person that you really got in, inspired uh, uh, with is uh, uh, the famous uh, uh, boxer, uh, the British uh, mm -hmm. boxer from uh, Yemeni roots, uh, uh, Nassim uh, uh, Hamid. Why is that? Is, he, is it because he's Yemeni? Um, him being many Yemeni has a has something to do with it because it it made me want to watch it more. My family would always push up the couch to watch the fight, and uh, I was young. And mm -hmm. as I'm watching, I I've liked it more and more. He comes in, he's very entertaining. He makes us laugh, mm -hmm. and, and he fights. He fights very well. So it, it inspired me. And mm -hmm. from there, I took boxing, and I got better and better. So if it wasn't for him, I don't know if boxing would have been what I would have done. Have you met him? Um, I haven't met him, but I did get a call from him, a random call. It was amazing. We had a great talk. He's a very nice guy. That's very good. Tell us a little bit about your professional career. Uh, what have you, uh, what do you expect or you want to do that you haven't done yet? Well, uh, my, my pro career as well. Uh, mm. I took my time in the mm. beginning. Uh, I have got my experience. I'm winning my fights. And I'm ready to take it to another level now, mm. um, to take bigger fights, get on the stage more fight mm. on Showtime, fight on those mm. big stations. And mm. I'm, I'm just ready to represent and show who I am and what I can do. Mm. And really just for the viewers out there, I want you to see something beautiful. I want you to like what you're watching. And that's what I want to do. That's very nice. Um, for the viewers, uh, Saddam, we have a, a little surprise. At the end of our interview, uh, we're going to have like a small competi uh, competition, you know. So, uh, uh, you know, they, 
we're going to have phone calls uh, to okay. the studio about and we're going to ask questions about you, questions that you answered during our interview. And then we have those t-shirts uh, uh, that you will be signing for the winner. So if you call and we ask you the question and you give us the correct answer, then you're going to win a t-shirt of Saddam Ali signed by him uh, in person live on TV and it's going to be yours. So, uh, you know, stay tuned, uh, follow the conversation, the interview and definitely give us a call. So uh, talking about your professional uh, career, um, let's mention the numbers. So you have 16 wins, mm -hmm. uh, 10 knockouts, yes. um, zero losses, yeah. uh, zero draws. This is impressive. Uh, yeah. uh, what do you think about that? Well, I just think that's something that I've always planned for myself. Uh, mm. I want to be undefeated. Mm. I want to be one of the best. So I work hard for it. So the zero losses and the zero draws, that's how it's supposed to look. Mm. And I'm going to make it stay like that. I just got to train hard. Uh, pray to God as well, because without God, you would go nowhere. So it's the same thing. So when you say train hard, how is your schedule? Give us a picture about well, that. Well, I only have one day off, mm. which is Sunday. Mm. And I'm training Monday through Saturday. Mm. I either wake up, run in the morning. And then later, later at night, I work out. Um, I don't go out. Yeah. Uh, I have my fun, yes. Mm -hmm. I, play, I go to the movies, I play pool, I go bowling. But my mm -hmm. dad has raised me right. So I'm, I always stay focused. And I stay on, focused on what I'm trying to do and accomplish. That's, that's very beautiful, uh, Saddam. Uh, tell us about one fight, so one fight in particular, for example, that really impressed you, impacted you. Something happened during that fight that changed your perspective somehow. Hmm. Is there anything like a special moment? Um, there's, I've had so many fights, mm. I don't even know if I have a special moment. Mm. There, was, there was a couple of special moments. Mm. Um, just winning, winning is the greatest feeling. Uh, right. When you win, it just, it just makes you feel happy. Uh, and even though I don't like hurting people, mm. but in a professional career, when, when you get that knockout, that's what everybody wants. They want to see something explosive. They want that knockout. So that's the greatest feeling. When I give the, when I give the fans, the supporters, the family, when they, when they see something they want to see, which is a knockout, something that will make them say, oh, wow. you know, so that's, that's what makes me feel good when I do something like that. Which medal, which championship is uh, the dearest to your heart? Um, it would definitely be making the USA Olympic team. Mm. I, was, I was doubted. A lot of people didn't think I would do it. They wasn't expecting me to do it. Mm. But Why is I, that? Um, I, of I guess they thought... I wasn't good enough. Mm. Maybe also there's not too many Arabic boxers that are good. Mm. So they weren't expecting me to, to be so good, fast, strong, and all the materials that I had to win. They didn't know, but mm. I knew it. Mm. And I just trained hard and I did it. So that was, that was a great feeling. Is there a, a, some factor in confidence? Like, do you think that confidence plays a big factor in, in winning? Yeah, well, definitely. I mean, you should have some confidence. Mm. Um, you know, to me personally, I don't think you need too much confidence. You just need, need to have some. Um, it's okay to be nervous, you mm. know, for me when I'm nervous it, it brings the better fighter out of me Like right. it makes me fight better than what I can really do. So being nervous. I'm, I'm never afraid of I'm not scared mm. Being nervous is definitely completely different from being scared So you mentioned uh, we mentioned at the beginning that you have a lot of siblings you have uh, four uh, sisters mm -hmm. and one brother yeah. uh, So do you think that your sister your siblings played some part in, in, in you becoming better in boxing? Well, I, I love them to death, mm. so um, I want to do good, mm. and mm. I want them to be happy. I never mm. want them scared, mm. so me losing is going to scare them. Mm. You know, me getting punched extra in my mm. face is mm. going to scare them, so that's why I'm, I'm, I'm a little slick move. I make a miss because uh, I don't want to get hit. I don't want to put any, any uh, fear in them, mm. and same thing for my little brother. He's young. He's so little watching me. I want him, I want him to see me doing good things because when he, when he gets older, I want him to do good things. So I'm just trying to make them follow the right footsteps. That's beautiful. So then we have a phone call from Mamdouh from New Jersey. Uh, and uh, he's uh, ready to answer the first question. So Mamdouh, Masa al khair? Masa al khair, Afandim. Mamdouh, so I'm going to ask you a question in Arabic. And I'm going to do some translation for Saddam. So the first question is, what is the record or the result of Saddam Ali in his life as a professional professional? What is his professional record? ممدوح عم تسمعنا كم ربح كم خسارة؟ yes, uh, is, uh, is, uh, I think it's 
هلو يس يس وي كان هير يو ممدوح تفضل عم نسمعك اوكي اذا اذا روبرت واز اي هير اتس فيري سوشيال اذا كتير تكسي ماتش از وينر اند زيرو لوز اها اي ثينك بعتقد بعتقد ممدوح انه جواب جوابك سليم وبيستاهل هي ديزيرفز تو تو هاف ا تي شيرت ساين رايت كان كان يو بلي ممدوح ثانك يو سو ماتش يو جونا رح تربح معنا تي شيرت من صدام علي ساين باي هيم بس بليز ممدوح خليك على الخط كرمال ناخذ منك المعلومات كيف نبعث لك كيف ناخذ منك المعلومات كرمال نرسل لك التي شيرت تبعك، فاذا الممدوح جاوب على السؤال صح كان 16 وينز 16 مباراة ربحة ما في خسارة ومثل ما طبعا صدام بحب يزيد صار في عنده كمان 10 ضربات قاضية. في عن في عنا سؤال ثاني في عنا في عنا طبعا رح نتصل ننتظر منكم انكم تتصلوا فينا كرمال نطرح عليكم الاسئله الباقيه صدام ماي كويشن تو يو از اباوت ذا فيوتشر سو يو سيد ذات يو ستارتد ليت بلشت متاخر يو ستارتد ليت ا بت ان يور كارير بت يو وونت تو اتشيف ا لوت اوف ثينجز سو وات از وات از يور نيكست ستيب يور نيكست بلان ام ويل اي جست ريسنتلي ساين تو جولدن بوي بروموشنز ويتش از وان اوف ذا بيجست promotion companies in the world um, and I was a free agent the whole time and I was waiting for the right time to do that mm. to sign with the people that's going to put me on the big stage and make me fight the better guys that I'm ready for mm. and so this is when I expect big things to happen I'm still taking it one step at a time but soon you will see big things coming for me do you think that at any point uh, in your career your uh, Arabic uh, Yemeni background uh, held you off or maybe gave you an advantage Oh, it's definitely gave me an advantage. Mm. Um, they're mm. supportive. Mm. Uh, Arabic people are very supportive, and I love that. And um, just like I said, my fight coming up September 30th, I would love everybody to come out and support mm. all, all the Arabs, all the Arab Americans, because I need that support. It, I'm, I'm doing it for them. You know, so and so when, when, let's <coughs> give information for uh, our viewers. When exactly is your uh, next fight and where? Okay, it's my next fight is September 30th mm. at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York. Um, I am the main event, which is the last fight. Mm. The fights start at 9 p.m. and I should be fighting around 10 p.m., 10:30, maybe mm. maybe a little later, but around that time. And inshallah, everybody can make it. I'm very excited. I'm ready to put on a show for everybody, and hopefully everything works out. Inshallah. Can you uh, tell us a little bit about your experience at the Olympics? My experience at the Olympics was beautiful. Uh, just going there, I get to meet all the the NBA players mm. all the famous people I'm walking around like a famous guy yeah. I'm not there yet but I'll get there soon yeah. um, but it was it was a beautiful experience just a ceremony the ceremony was very beautiful walking around it was a great experience and I had fun absolutely and we are very very honored to have you here uh, with Thank us you. Um, do you feel that boxing is facing some problems uh, uh, comparing uh, to other sports in America Um, no, not at all. I think boxing is doing doing a good job. There's other sports that that are very exciting. Everybody loves sports, but boxing plays its part, and I think boxing is doing well. Mm. It's just people got to keep it alive, and uh, that's that. I'm one of the guys that's working on that. Uh, before we continue our interview, let's have a phone call. Nikhil Etisal from Muhammad from New York. He's ready to answer the second question. Muhammad, okay. Masal uh, Khair. Nur. Muhammad, جاهز إنك تجاوب على السؤال الثاني. Yes. اوكي سو سؤالي لك من صدام علي مين الملاكم اللي اعطيه حق اكبر واحي اكبر لصدام علي ببدايه الكارير تبعه يعني من النسيم نسيم من لندن نسيم نسيم من لندن نسيم حميد مبروك محمد الله يبارك فيك سو صدام كان يو بليز جست ساين انذر تي شيرت فور محمد فروم نيويورك هي انسر ذا كويشن هو واز يو نو لايك يور فيفورت بوكسر اور ذا بوكسر ذات انسبايرد يو اند هي انسر كوريكتلي سو محمد فيك تضلك معنا بس تعطي معلوماتك لنرسل لك التي شيرت الممضيه طبعا من صدام علي And uh, 
as you can see, or maybe uh, you know, the camera can uh, catch that you have uh, Saddam a very uh, you know important ring on your hand. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. What what is this ring? Well, this ring was the national golden glove ring, which is one of the hardest things to win, because you have the golden gloves and then you have to fight national golden gloves, which is everybody who won the golden gloves in every state. Mm. And I won it, I won it two two years, both years straight, and. Uh, I've lost the first one, but this mm. is the second one in 2007. Mm. That, that's, 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 do you feel that um, being from New York uh, or being raised in Brooklyn impacted you somehow as a boxer? Well, in Brooklyn, it, it's tough out there. You know that Brooklyn is not the greatest place to live. You have a lot of crimes going on. So uh, I had my dad to make sure I stayed mm. out the streets, but, uh, but I've seen the hard, the hard the people, the things that people go through, you mm. know, the hard times. So mm. it, it made me stay focused and it made me do good for myself. So it, I think it did help me. It, it made me hungry. Saddam, any advice uh, before we end uh, our interview to uh, people, you know, like who are watching you? Who well, be like to become boxers? <clears throat> oh, yeah. For, um, like I said, follow your dreams. Don't mm. ever give up on what you want to do. Mm. At the end of the day, just be happy with yourself. Do what you love. And when you, when, when you put your mind to something, you're going to be able to do it. So just stick to that. So we'll keep an eye on your uh, professional career. We're going to wish you lots of luck uh, in your uh, uh, upcoming fight uh, on September 30th. And uh, we ask a lot of people and fans to come and cheer for you. Uh, thank you so much for being with us. It's a pleasure. It's my pleasure. Thank, thank you. Thank you. We were with Mu Ibali with the Prime Minister Ali, the Arab American. We will see you in the next video. We will see you Stand by, and oh, yeah. so you can see it. Okay, go ahead. We are going to be able to get the best. We are going to be able to get the best. We are going to be able to get the best. We رياضية اجتماعية وسياسية أهلاً وسهلاً أهلاً فيكم وأهلاً كل الأمة العربية والجاليات العربية الجميلة الوحيدة من ودع زمان ونروح لزمان هنقابلكم في نفس معادنا الجمعة كل أسبوع الساعة 9 مساءً ممكن تنسى أي حاجة إلا إنك تحجز تذكرتك الصيف ده مع بركة رابط ونغوص بعالمنا ونبحر بداخلنا بربيع يجمعنا فنسعد بابتسامة من حولنا ونهنأ بفرحة أطفالنا خلاص يا شيخة ودع أيام زمان وخليك بصحة وأمان مع أول قطفة من الربيع صحة للجميع Now in America For the past 20 years it's been our honor to serve those in need around the world From 1993 to 2013 together we have helped fill stomachs heal the sick teach children and rebuild communities 
Islamic Relief USA, 20 years together for a better world. Visit irusa.org and donate today.